Hey folks, Wish SE. Was asked by a subscriber to talk about the four Glocks and nine millimeter. So we have the G17, which started it all, followed by the Glock 19, Glock 26, and more recently the Glock 34. So we're going to do a very quick contrast comparison today. We're going to shoot these guys and uh, give you a perspective on them. These are, are really outstanding handguns. I've, I've, shot, I've owned and shot Glocks for you know 20 years, and they've been incredibly, just phenomenally durable. Uh, they're not for everybody. Not everybody likes the way they look. They don't, not everybody likes the way they feel. Uh, however, from a straight out combat effective, long term, bad conditions, you know, they really, really perform. So we're going to shoot each one of the four that we have here today and give you guys an opportunity to see it. If you like this video or any of the videos we produce, click the thumbs up icon, share with your friends and family. Let's get to it right now. And so from the top to the bottom, we have the G34, G17, G19, and then G26. This is the line of Glock 9 millimeters. We've got a couple of different generations out there. We have uh, two Gen 3s on the top and a Gen 3 on the bottom in the Glock 26, but the uh, G19 is a Gen 4. So the first gun we're going to shoot is the Glock 34. This is inspired, uh, was really designed around competition. Longer slide, longer sight radius, three and a half pound connector. I shot IDPA with this for a number of years. I really like it quite a bit. So one of the things that you'll note with the uh, Glocks is this really, really audio uh, and tactile reset, which is one of the things that's great. Bang, click, bang, click. You can really ride that reset and do a much better job shooting. The next job, the next uh, gun we're going to shoot is the G Glock 17. So Glock 17, this was the one that started it all, polymer frame guns. So I'm going to shoot at that same circle, the number two. Wow, I mean it feels great. It really, really does feel good. Next thing we're going to do is we'll go to our Gen 4 G19. I mean I really like the Glocks. I especially like the trigger and the consistency. Okay, we're at the same distance we were before, seven yards. We've got a target out there. The B circle. I'm telling you. The Glock 19 for me is sort of the perfect handgun in that it is almost a full size but it's almost a compact so it's in between and for me in the way I shoot and with my hands I really 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 like the way it feels. We're just going to clear this out and then the last gun that we're going to shoot here is the Glock 26 baby Glock. And this is a great compact carry gun. It is kind of big and beefy, but um, it really does give you a reasonable magazine capacity and at the same time uh, a small package. So you can see from an accuracy standpoint, you know, again, seven yards, right? I'm not super distant. We're going to maybe shoot a little steel. One nice thing about any of the Glocks is the fact that you can use magazines from the other pistols. So in this case, I have a G17 magazine with an extension on it. So I can carry a small gun and have a fair amount of capacity in terms of additional mags.
Gotta love it. Really gotta love it. So the next thing we're going to do is just a couple of uh, uh, strings of fast fire. Uh, again, seven yards, uh, realistic combat uh, distance, just so you can get a sense of, of this. Again, guns are easy to control. They're easy to get hits on target. And once you get a feel for them, the way that trigger works and mastering the trigger, they just rock. Okay, I'm seven yards from our target now. Just going to press a couple shots to the center masser. No problem getting hits and being able to keep them going. So from my standpoint, again, we're seven yards away. I know it's not 25 yard accuracy, but combat effective. Uh, Glocks make it really easy. Even the small Glock, right, even the Glock 26 allows you with its good trigger, once you get used to it, the ability to hit, uh, you know, combat effective, get combat effective hits on target. Okay, folks, down there at 25 yards, we've got a steel plate, 12 inch steel plate. We're gonna shoot um, that and give you a perspective. We're gonna shoot each of the guns that we have uh, with that. We're gonna start with the Glock 26. Okay, no problem whatsoever getting good hits at distance with the Glock 26. The next one we're going to use, the Glock 19. No problem. Glock 17. Other than me, mashing the trigger on that one, all in there. Glock 34. First one again, a mash on my part. So, in summary, I really think this series, the 9mm series of Glock pistols is outstanding. What we shot today was the Glock 34, Glock 17, Glock 19, and Glock 26, largest to smallest. Any of them would be good guns to consider if you're looking for personal protection or home defense. I happen to personally like the Glock 19 best because I feel it's the perfect compromise in size between a full size and a, and a compact. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. As always, stay safe.